right, welcome back to Midday. You know, kids are out of school, which means caretakers are now tasked with finding ways to fill these summer days. If your little ones love sports, you might be in luck here. Joining me to talk about the importance of summer camps during this season and sports camps in particular is former Cowboy and veteran NFL tackle Ty Inseki. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Or with me. Okay. Um, <laughs> so sports is obviously huge for you. Why do you think you want to share this with these kids? Like what is it that sports does for them so early on that might help them in other ways in their life? Well, it builds camaraderie. It mm. builds leadership. It builds team working, team building goals. You know, you, that's all things you need to get through life. And sports plays a key role in that. Yeah, I feel like it can really get some kids out of their shell if they're not used to, you know, being around a lot of other mm -hmm. kids, especially Most after this pandemic. Most definitely, especially after the pandemic. Yeah. Um, so this is the sixth annual. We've been doing it for a while. Last year we still did it, but we had uh, some COVID regulations we had to follow. Yeah. This year already we have at least 200 kids that signed up. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And so are these kids who are involved in sports regularly or like do they not need to have basic knowledge of, of movement? <laughs> so it goes from six all the way to 17. So six year olds, you know, just running around the house or just getting used to being active. You know, we have those, we're teaching them football movements, football skills, and then we have all the way to 17. So kids who are actively playing sports, playing football, you know, give them a chance to showcase their skills in front of a couple veteran or NFL guys. That is amazing. And um, this is not just about physical activity. Mm -hmm. You've said that this is also about providing positivity for them yes. and especially role models yes. too. So every year at uh, lunchtime when we provide them free meals, uh, we have the police chief of Arlington and a few police officers come in and talk to the guys mm. about, uh, and girls, mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, community service and just, you know, just try to get them familiar with the police uh, officers in the area. Wow, that's amazing. I think uh, it's important to connect and to establish that relationship early on too. Um, so you mentioned free meals. Mm -hmm. This whole program is free. Yes. You've done it for six years now. Yes. How do you do that? How are you able to do it? And then why do you think it's so important to offer this all for free for these well, families? The NFL helps a little bit. They give us a, a grant, you know, and then the rest of it I foot the bill. So it's just something I do from the kindness of my heart. Wow, that's am uh, really amazing. I'm sure it helps these families a lot. Um, so what, what's a typical day like? Like what can the kids and the parents look forward to? So 8 a.m. is registration. You okay. know, we get them signed up, get everybody who has their um, whatever ailments or whatever, we have their logged and notified. Uh, then we pass out t-shirts, then, you know, go to the field, introduce them with the coaches, begin warm-ups, go through drills. Then Whoa, the <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like that, just like that. So then, in the noontime, it's followed with lunch. Uh, they sit down, talk to the police chief, talk to his officers. And then and after that, we have a seven on seven tournament where, you know, the winners get prizes, you know, trophies. Uh, we have like the best in the camp, uh, different, different uh, medals we give out. So it's a lot of it's a lot of fun going on. That is awesome. And you said girls are allowed. Girls are allowed. <laughs> okay, yes, I yes. like that. I just wanted to make that point yes, one more time for y'all. Uh, okay, so how can parents get their kids in on this action? Okay, you can go to tieandfoundation.org. Okay. Uh, click on events and go to register, and it will take you right to where you need to register and fill out the information. Thank you so much. No problem. Not just for being here today, but for what you're doing for all these kids. We really appreciate it. There it is again on your screen. Uh, the info for signing up. The camp is June 25th. James Bowie High School in Arlington. You can go to, again, the Tie-In Foundation website. Click on their events tabs. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. All right. Okay, handing things over to meteorologist Greg Fields. I'm going to tell you, he's not going to be out there working out with you. I try to get this man to work out with me in the mornings. Why nope. Not? Come on, Greg. Do, come on, Greg. <laughs> not too intense for me. I need something a little, you know, a little less uh, stressful. Greg, go work out. out with the kids out there. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> Got to keep the kids active. All right.